The kidneys from an average adult receive roughly 25% of the cardiac output, which means that about 1,800 liters of plasma flow through the kidneys every 24 hours. Of that 1,800 liters, the kidneys filter about 10%, or 180 liters per day, or 125 milliliters per minute. The filtrate is often referred to as the ultrafiltrate or glomerular filtrate, and the rate at which the filtrate is formed is referred to as the glomerular filtration rate, or GFR for short. Now, GFR is commonly used to determine how well the kidneys are functioning. For example, according to the Kidney Disease Outcomes Quality Initiative guidelines, GFR is used to categorize the five stages of chronic kidney disease, or CKD for short. Stage 1 is defined as a GFR of 90 milliliters per minute or greater and presents as normal kidney function. Stage 2 is defined as a GFR between 60 and 89 milliliters per minute and presents with evidence of kidney damage. Stage 3 is defined as a GFR between 30 and 59 milliliters per minute and presents with signs of kidney damage. Stage 4 is defined as a GFR between 15 and 29 milliliters per minute and presents with reduced kidney function. And finally, stage 5 is defined as a GFR of less than 15 milliliters per minute and presents with damage to the kidney system. Now, besides being used to diagnose the stage of kidney disease, GFR is used to determine the course of treatment and management of chronic kidney disease, as well as the dosage of many drugs. Because as GFR decreases, so does the clearance of these drugs. Over this course, we'll review the basics of how GFR is measured, the clinical formulas used to estimate GFR, the basic physiological factors that regulate GFR, and a number of drugs that affect GFR.